All right. There we go. We are vertical right now, but we have a tiebreaker match right here. Just confirming we are live right now. Nick Suffolato and Tyler O'Brien here. Alley Cat Lane's Kingston, Massachusetts. Let's see here. We'll get it from this angle here. This is Tyler O'Brien. Lane 14. Three, four, and seven. No worries, Timmy, I'm doing this ad hoc. Four horsemen. Picks up a lotto. Runs it down nicely. And that's a spare. That's a 10, excuse me, 20 through two. So Zuffalotto already up by eight pins. Again, thank you all very much for tuning in right here. Nicky, Nick Fresh, you got Greg got a 182 in the Friday Night Pro League recently also. Very nice. Comment below so we know you're watching this. Diamond left side. Half Worcester for Zuffalato. Tyler O'Brien, more of a Western Massachusetts bowler. We'll get live in the usual way in just a moment. It's right here, against a diamond. Just ripped away too. Half Worcester for Freshie. He's up 20 to 12 at the moment through two boxes. Head pin out. Oh, he's got to grab sticks all of a sudden. He's already up eight and just pinning alone. And just one out. Oh, poor Tyler O'Brien. Nine out. But it could still grab sticks if Freshie can't gain here. He's got three more, so 27 to 21 at the current moment. Also orientation locked on vertical, that's less than ideal, but here we are. Three boxes down, seven to go. Zuffalato up by six. O'Brien into the three pin that's toppling through. Two pin is gonna get a little wiggle. One, two, seven, eight. Freshy. And pin, yes, 10 topples. Five and eight. There's the head pin there. Just wide on the two pin. I'll do it like this. There's a nine box. O'Brien 30 through four. Zuffalato. A 10. We look forward to being back on the usual setup in just a moment, but we wanted to bring you this bowling action however we can. This is Candlepin Bowling Network. We're doing what we can. 30 through four versus 37 through four. So Zuffalato basically up a mark, even though it's just on pinning alone. All those 10 boxes making a difference. Tyler O'Brien, half Worcester. Struggling to find the range. These two bowlers tied in the one string roll off earlier. More context on our main broadcast once we get that back up and running. Head pin for Freshy, two, nine and 10. Ryan, not bad, half the pins out. A grinding match of sticks so far, this unexpected second match for these two bowlers. In the round of 24, my goodness. Zuffalato, that 10 pin is standing, you see just there under the device. Ryan pins out for nine. 
Good out of that, so he'll come to the half with 39. Freshy, that's Nick Zuffalato, should be ahead by about a mark or so. We'll be back to the main broadcast soon enough. And we'll be back on Facebook and YouTube in the normal way. Nick Zuffalato now trading over to lane 14. He leads by eight. Freshy takes out four. There it is. So six pins out there. It's still mixing for O'Brien. You see the one and the nine. Just on the head pin, but not through on the angle. Brian's got three to get. Two to get, rather. One nine off the wall, didn't go. The chance to equalize this matchup goes by the wayside on a good bid. Stick still in question here. Zuffalato. Back pin goes, it's eight. That's 10 for O'Brien. So two extra pins for the Western Mass Bowler. He now trails by only six with four boxes remaining. In theory, if he were to keep that pace, the match would reverse. But one spare could change it all. Bringing you this tiebreaker however we can, and then we'll be back on our main setup on five and six to bring you the rest of the coverage. Zuffalato, one, three, and seven. O'Brien, four and two mix out. This one's pretty when it goes. One, three, and seven. Next try, curls in, ooh, head pin just to the right of the seven pin. O'Brien, yes, he got it to go as one. A big spare to possibly bring this match back to level. One string knockout to determine who goes on to the round of 16. Freshy gets nine. Still good pins on the first two. Zuffalato 64 through seven. Tyler O'Brien 59 and a ball. So again, an extra pin goes, so the lead is down to five and O'Brien has ball in hand. One, three, four, seven, nine, and ten. Had been here. O'Brien's got his fill. It's eight. And the ten goes. Two pin remaining. One, three, four, seven, nine, ten. Where's Zuffalato? All right, three out. O'Brien's fill was nine, and he has a chance for another. He's leading by three at the current moment. He just hit the wood instead. Four, seven, ten. Just four, so again, O'Brien can pick up two sticks here. It's nine. He picks up one. Now, what's happened here? The scores have gone haywire all of a sudden. There we go. Up by five is uh, 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 O'Brien, rather. 
The Zaffalato's got a head pin hit here. Chance to take it right back into once mark match. Seven out for O'Brien, three, five, and ten. Freshy gets it. Head pin hit. And a follow up. Three, five, ten, O'Brien. What stymied him? Now it's just the three, ten stairs back. So Zaffalotto trailing by five, now has an extra ball. Tyler leaves two on the plate. He goes up to 85 through nine. Zaffalato is 82 in a ball. Three back plus a ball. <laughs> the fill is four and Freshy does lead by one stick. 86 to 85 with one box to go. It might come down to who gets the better leave. Can O'Brien get one? If that nine pin splashes, but it will not. One, two, four, and nine. Each side has one spare and that is it. Right, that's a spare. Did the 10 go? Yes! Zaffalato gets it to go in box 10. Will that extra mark be decisive? O'Brien basically has to have it. He missed the nine pin on a huge bid. Ran down the one, two, four. <laughs> Did not catch that. It's a 10 box to O'Brien and a valiant 10. He'll get a round of applause on a 95. Zaffalotto has won this already. The fill actually is mathematically irrelevant, but the fill is nine, 105. Final score, 105 for Nick Zaffalotto and 95 for Tyler O'Brien. Thank you for watching this ad hoc presentation of Candlepin Bowling Network in the, uh, the Pro Series. And we'll be right back with main coverage in just a moment. So long.